রাগলং হি নি লে না পু আইন এহং এহং রিল উ আচু খুরপুই তবুয়া নাইমান থক সেনখাট মণিপুর সেনখাট মিজোরাম নানচিন চোক নানচিন চোক সোনাচু ত্রিপুরা লে আসাম না ওমা নি লে না পু আইন লা না ইউ চাক চাম্পাই রিনদি পু সি লি চাম্পাই জল আতি না লা ইথ উচাক ওইনি হি সেনখাটিন কুকি কুকি গাই বিলা উনতি সেনখাটিন জনা থাক এটি উমাই বিলাম নাই নি দ্য ট্রাম রংলং ইস অলসো সাইমলটেনিয়াসলি ইউজ এস লংরং বাই ডিফারেন্স স্কলার্স এন্ড রাইটার্স ফর ইনস্টেন্স জি এ গেরসনস ইন হিজ রিসার্চ ওয়ার্ক দ্য লিঙ্গিস্টিক সার্ভে অফ ইন্ডিয়া ভলিউম থ্রি পার্ট থ্রি পাবলিশ ইন নাইনটিন হান্ড্রেড ফোর পেজ টু হান্ড্রেড সেভেন টু Uh, however, C.S.O. Pitt in his publication, A Short Account of the Kukilusay Tribe on the Northeast Frontier, published in 1887 by Harvard University, USA, page 5. And uh, T.C. Hodgson in the Naga Tribes of Manipur, published in 1911 by University of London, page 9, used the term Langrong. At present, the speakers uh, identify themselves as Ranglong, although they are correlated ethnic tribes like Mijo Thado still call them Langrong. The Ranglong being an old cookie, uh, their origin and migration is the same as uh, other cookie chin ethnic groups. As per the oral traditions, they were believed they were originated from a place called Kurpui Tabum, assumed to be somewhere in southern China bordering present Myanmar. Kurpui Tabum literally means big cave. It is also called Kulpui Kurpui by some other correlated to Kichin tribes. There are enough literatures uh, in the academic circle regarding the migratory route of the Kichin groups. They were believed to have migrated from some part of China provinces to Myanmar and to present Northeast India. Till now, the Ranglong would chant in their folk songs called Nayomna Durnai Pai, meaning our place of settlement in Durnai Valley. The Tram Durnai Valley is believed to be the Cabo Valley of present Myanmar, Burma. After their migration from Cabo Valley, they entered Champai district of present Mizoram, the then Lusai Hills, approximately in and around 1200 to 1300 AD. Thereafter, they entered the, the present uh, Churachanpur district of present Manipur and settled in and around confluence, uh, confluence of river Tirung and Tivai, which is commonly known as Tipaimuk in Bengali. The two river joins together and flows towards western direction and finally got the name Borak Modi in Borak Valley of Asham. Again, the Ranglong would uh, also chant Rung Levai Kati, which means in the bank of the confluence of river Tirong and Tivai where we used to settle. The settlement of Ranglong in the confluence of uh, Tirong and Tivai, Tipaimuk, may be approximately in between uh, 1500 to 1600 AD. From there, they follow the downstream of that river, still present Borak Valley of Assam, and thereafter disperse in different directions. Ranglong hi atam riay ning chu lui ning nai thao. Sen khat chu kuara huon, sen khat chu rabar rahon, sen khat chu morto, maser, poipol, mot, lampuong, নই নাম আংটু চু নর হো না নমন লুই নি তাচু মরশিয়া মানতা বাইনি মাইতাম তলক খামচক কই তেরেট আনসা কুমহয় করমাই মাইবাল বাল সাকমা আসি পাতনাহি নারামাতা নই নাম আংটু চু নমন রংলং নুয়াইন তম তাকিনচু লুইনি মারাই হি নবাজার আজোর উ না হবা লেহান সাক নেক আথ উ না তেনচু আনৈ সবাকুম ওমক মে আন্দ্রিং সবাকুম ওমক মে নাম নাহো না নাইনাংটু নমান কইনি নবাজার হেন কইনি তং মিঙাই নিমকা কোর তম তাকিন নই নুন আহং জোর Uh, today I would like to share the, some of the socio-economic uh, status of this particular tribe. 
right now the main earning source of this locality, I mean this community particularly, uh, yeah, long inhabited areas, is uh, we can say uh, mixed economy, like some are into very small percentage of population are into service, some very marginal percentage uh, are also into a business uh, and majority are into plantation like uh, our main uh, source of income as, uh, if we look into uh, I mean percentage wise uh, settled agriculture and that also into Arikana plantation. I would like to mention that Arikana plantation has been really popularized in this area in almost every household practices and as of now this area is considered to be a hub of agriculture uh, in the state and but uh, it is i mean nobody thinks of value addition or semi-processing of the product it's simply we plant it bear fruits and majority of the owners the farmers they just sell it to the middlemen uh, brokers so to say uh, for a year. For example, if I have uh, 500 trees, then I will just, uh, in woods, I will make an agreement with some buyers from outside, say, uh, 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 the fruit of 500 trees for one year, maybe uh, 1 lakhs, 1 1.5 lakhs. That's how we do it. Ranglong su nga Christian ni Elay Hong Lut na hi kum sa maruk kum ranga alay kai jaya kuibing alien kiki chu Catholic Baptist le Presbyterian ni ani ranglong ngai hi patien a iam le ankom azijot miring nani na ranglong nam nen son na bulkit chu missionary ngai school ay hong manding ngai hi ani na. Missionary School ang wanting manju naipang tam taklekhan julo ya acay ju ka aom anina ala lekha anju asid ng laylunta na nakolle na na inata metik na pastay anina wahan officer tam tak ay hong shock anina yahi borsang alusabakat ani asikan Yahi iti sika ni magpatiyan alungkam na sika keng di nariyat haya. The Christianity after we adopt as a tribe, a lot of development, I could see out of that a few points I just would like to say. Our forefather live as a nomadic life. Due to that, our uh, development did not uh, take place as a tribe because shifting one place to another place, in one place, suppose they live for three, four years and they left the place and moved to another place and in order to rebuild again, to reconstruct all the things, it takes time. So due to that, all the time development effect. But now, after we adopt our Christianity, we uh, settle in a place we don't move like our forefather did and that is a uh, that is a kind of development I see nomadic life to a permanent settlement secondly I see the influence of Christianity is uh, population also we could uh, see the drastic uh, increase before uh, before we see we as a tribe we are not uh, rapidly growing. The main reason was uh, health and hygiene were not maintained. Due to that, pandemic took place and then many people died, so they left the village again. But now, after we had up a Christianity, the missionaries taught us how to maintain our health and hygiene. And through that, the population also is growing and the death rate is very much uh, becoming uh, lower in rate now and we are increasing rapidly now and when we looked again education in our forefathers time 
they they did not want to go to school they had a bad belief that if they go to school they would not uh, want to work to the jhum cultivation due to that uh, parents never sent to their uh, children to school but after missionary came they started the primary school and they started a uh, village to village to influence to the parents that without education any nation or tribe cannot uh, really develop due to that uh, slowly slowly they started uh, primary level in the school and then in the village all the villages and then sending to the uh, urban areas also to pursue education and from then on the uh, education has been rapidly growing literacy rate also is now very high and so we see a rapid uh, development in education also we have many officials now and uh, many young men and women are pursuing even a PhD and a civil service it is due to Christianity it influences uh, very much RYA hi om no sela ju anriat na hi om zet no ni na thui thar ngai hi nanam pon le nana nanam riti hi hong mangil tir u na nanam chong te na hi anjak pui u na chong ngam u maka ten chu RYA hong an ding na RYA hong an ding so na nanamin na riti ai nang zia ai lu zia ha a hong man riata RYA hong an ding so na ta chu Nambraliang conference sa naitaw si panay serang ti ang ahangurat tay una nambraliang ay lusya ha mitam takin ahangurat a no pangay nung nerese akuta ay kong unget nampon ahong ahong tao una hanog ju pasal ngay nung nerese kamsanget asota arway conference sa ahong asuok una tinhan nam ay lu ay nangzia ju ahangurat una Tanglong nam raliang he man lai chu nai riet anga nai an zak pui ani na korbet ben chi nai an zak pui anok chu duti kai nai hong an zak pui hawa ha atun chu nilai maka hawa nam raliang nai pang tengai ni thui thar ngai do ra chu nam raliang le an liang a ai an nam an parang he ai hong an lang nai hong mu ani na atun tak wang chu nai pang ngai he Nambraliang tetengai ya thona nupang ani pasalani mobile acaca nayan poso anambraliang ulen haso itau na anhuyu manhuy sabak u asam sabak u na nanam sunga rolahuy tam takaom ani na nupangom pasalom tenju so itau thay narang lampui abu ani na tenju arway elek hoy panta na ju so hong thau na Talented miring atam sabak narang long syunga hantin han la thai arwae le kohui panta na atalen nungaya hong rasyo una singgar tam takum na oma. Havana ta ju rang long video le hanok ju film pa ngayom nirse hantin han na hong don jaya. I would like to share about the existence of Ranglong Youth Association, the purpose of its formation and the impact it has into the society today. Earlier there was a system of uh, you know, administration, but many of it doesn't comply, uh, cannot be you know, practiced when, uh, for the Christians. So life of the society really changes when someone changes their religion. So in the process, uh, there was no more any well system of organi organizing or administration as a tribe. So considering all these aspects, uh, the leaders felt that there is a need of one umbrella, one platform, where uh, many denominations of the Christian community and also non-Christian. We need a common platform as a tribe where we can uh, be unity and a lot of uh, fights needs to be done. For example, as a small tribe, we are being assimilated. 
linguistic assimilation, cultural assimilation, in all forms, this happens. So there was really a need to have such platform because we are losing our culture, our language, every day. So we need to popularize, we have to protect. Who will protect? We ourselves need to protect. In order to protect that, we need a common platform. That was the reason why RYA came into existence in the year 1994 on 22nd December. So, of course, uh, like other organization, in, uh, in initial stage there were a lot of obstacles and challenges. Somehow we overcome. Today this is the only platform where all Ranglong come together. It become a very popular and in the heart of all Ranglongs, RYA takes a very strong hold in everybody's uh, you know, uh, mind. Uh, one of the very important, remarkable achievement what RYA does and will continue to do is to protect our land. Uh, we, Ranglong actually, we are in a compact area. But unfortunately, due to amalgamation and delimitation, uh, the, the area, the compact area has been made into a, you know, state boundary. So, uh, what uh, RYA does to make a uniform or fight to be into one, uh, at least may not be in you know administration to change the state boundary but at least to have a common uh, community and more than that what uh, we RYA does is you know due to uh, development lot of encroachment into our uh, given land happens so that that is what always RYA fights uh, some encroachment from outside we fight against them, protect our land. Sometimes even government used to point out some area within our uh, area to make some projects. Uh, but that also RYA fought and succeeded. At present, settlement of Ranglong is found in three states, Tripura, Assam and Mizoram. Having a population of approximately 12,000, the Ranglong have settled in their present areas of settlement for the last 400 to 500 years, approximately. It is evident from the name of place in their locality that is being officially recognized till date by the government of Assam, Tripura and Mizoram. Unfortunately, the Ranglong community has become the minority of the minorities in their present respective federated states. The Ranglong language has also been declared by United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as a critically endangered language among 42 languages in India. However, it has to be mentioned that Ranglong has been identified as a separate community, having separate identity by various renowned scholars at present, the status of the community is such that it has no official recognition in their respective federated states as Ranglong. The respective states' administration has rather merged them with different communities. The Ranglong in Tripura has been merged with Halam and Tripuri community, whereas in Assam with the Kuki and Rangkol community. In Mizoram, they were merged with Rangkol and any Mizo tribe as per the Sedulka Sedul Tribe Order Amendment Act 1976. The repercussion is that maximum of the Ranglongs are using the new community with whom they were merged as their surname. Considering their merger with different communities in different federated states in India, the Ranglong community is passing through serious identity crisis. They are officially compelled to identify themselves to the community with which the state government had merged them. So they have officially lost their original identity as Ranglong, 
which was already recognized as separate ethnic tribe since centuries. รังลองนําหีเอ่อนําอันติดขัดจุในนี้ทีนาซัมนาอันตักอันมอยะอลมไปยะอวานเจลาอวานห่วมรังในยอดเกียร์อันนี้นะยานําหีอยันไปนอก